now in Firewatch tonight as we look ahead to the summer season, we wanted to know what could be in store for us as the upcoming fire season approaches. Ryan Canada joins us live in the studio with a closer look at what experts are saying. Ryan, take it away. Well, Landon, the National Weather Service tells me we could be looking at a later start than normal for this year's fire season because of a chance for more precipitation this spring. But at the same time, more rain could increase the amount of grass and fuels that are available to burn in what could potentially be a warmer summer than usual. How dry the, the vegetation is, uh, how steep the, the terrain might be, and then also how that combines with the winds and the, the dryness in the weather. Uh, that all combines to uh, create potential critical fire conditions. And experts say because the natural fuels have been so dry during the drought years that even with this winter's near normal precipitation levels, the vegetation still has a high chance to burn. But the fire department says there is some good news. The water we did receive this winter should help in their firefighting efforts. Uh, the dip sites were disappearing over the last couple years, and so the helicopters would have to travel either further for water or we would have to bring in water tenders and make up our own dip sites. So this year, uh, it's looking good. We also have some of our dip sites back from uh, the reservoirs and stuff. And when the time does come, the National Weather Service says they will issue red flag warnings ahead of serious weather patterns. That way, the fire agencies and public can be prepared ahead of any fire weather conditions. Covering Firewatch, live in the studio, Ryan Canaday, Channel 2 News.